Cotton picking is the culmination of a whole season's work. It is a busy time when teamwork is essential to bring the crop in safely. This video will discuss safety concerns of cotton harvest and the equipment used. Safety is a team effort. Look out for your co-workers and stay in visual contact with them when working around equipment. Cotton picking equipment makes a lot of noise. Before starting work in the field, make sure that you understand the hand signs that you and your co-workers will use to communicate. The goal of this video is to reduce cotton harvest accidents. Let your supervisor know of any unsafe conditions. Read the operator's manual that is specific for the cotton picker you will operate. Ask your supervisor if you have any questions about the machinery with which you're working. Cotton harvest is no time for horseplay. Even a slight distraction can lead to a serious accident. Good judgment and common sense go hand in hand with personal safety. There are a few basics to cover before getting behind the controls of your harvester. Arrive rested and ready for work. This means getting at least eight hours of sleep so you can start work fresh every day. Your attendance at safety meetings is important. It's an opportunity to learn safe practices and to communicate with your supervisor. Tailgate meetings are essential to maintaining a high level of safety awareness. Be sure to show up and to participate. What you wear to work can keep you from getting injured. Loose fitting clothing and jewelry have no place around harvesting equipment. If your clothing gets caught in the spindles of a picker, it can pull you into the machine where you could be seriously injured. Wear your safety glasses when working in the shop or doing maintenance on the equipment. Cotton pickers are dangerous, so make sure you wear all of your personal protective equipment supplied by your employer. It is important to wear sunscreen when working outside to protect your skin from ultraviolet rays and to prevent sunburn. When the weather is warm, remember to drink small amounts of water frequently throughout the day. Drugs and alcohol have no place around cotton harvesting equipment. This includes any prescription drug that may make you a danger to others by impairing your decision making, slowing your perception, or reducing your ability to function. If there is any uncertainty about a prescription drug's side effects, a doctor should be consulted. If you're caught behind the wheel while under the influence, it can lead to the loss of your driver's license, loss of your job, not to mention the possibility of injury and death. Fraudulent reporting of workplace accidents or injuries is a serious felony crime punishable with fines of up to $150,000 and five years in jail. Fraud is not worth it and will not be tolerated. It's a good idea to do a few simple stretching exercises before beginning a day's work. Occasional stretching is especially important since your back can tighten up from sitting for extended periods of time.
Conduct a pre-trip inspection at the beginning of each day. Walk around the cotton picker before starting it. Make sure the windshield, mirrors, and side windows are clean. Verify that the slow-moving vehicle placard is clean and in place. Look to see that the extinguisher pressure gauges show in the green. Then look at the tires. Check for cuts, punctures, or excessive tread wear. Make sure no fluids are leaking from oil, water, fuel, and pneumatic systems. Test hydraulic controls to make sure they're working. Wear protective goggles and gloves when checking for hydraulic leaks. These fluids can be under extremely high pressure, and a pinhole leak can inject fluid into an eye or under the skin. Make sure all guards and safety shields are in place and replace as needed. Test and check the brake lights, running lights, headlights, and turn signals. Test the flashing warning lights, especially if you drive early in the morning, at night, or in bad weather. Hey, Tim, can you check this? If you notice any piece of equipment that is not working properly, report it to a supervisor immediately. Part of your job is to maintain the harvester while in the field. To do this safely, follow these guidelines. When working on raised equipment, Always use durable blocks or devices to prevent the equipment from dropping on you. Use locks on picker heads and baskets to secure them during servicing and when transporting the harvester. When climbing on top of your machine, Use the walkways and handrails provided. And never jump down from equipment. It isn't worth injuring your knees, ankles, or back. Look for loose connections and damaged parts. Make sure that safety decals are readable or replace them. Test and check headlights, running lights, and turn signals. Know the location of the emergency shutoff switch. Check your fire extinguishers. If an extinguisher has been used, get a replacement or get it recharged. When you see a lockout tagout tag like this, it means do not start the machine. Any harvester that is being repaired should be lockout tagout tagged and chalked to prevent injury to the mechanics. If things are not ship shape, don't run the machine. Report any operating problems to your supervisor immediately. Get it fixed for your sake, as well as your family and coworkers' sakes. Once a pre-trip inspection of the harvester has been conducted, it's time to climb into the cab. Always use the three points of contact system when climbing into or out of your machine. This means that when climbing, you must have either two hands and a foot or two feet and a hand in firm contact with the ladder, steps, and handrails. Once in the cab, adjust the seat height and back. Then adjust the mirrors so that you can clearly see to the rear. Buckle up and use your seat belt at all times, whether you're in the field or driving on the road. No riders, ever. They're a major factor in farm machinery deaths, especially when the riders are children. A hole or bump can cause the passenger to be thrown from the equipment, resulting in injury or death. Keep the cab neat and free of items that could get caught under foot controls. 
Make sure the cotton picker is out of gear and the brakes are set. Start the harvester from the ignition only. Never bypass the safety neutral start system or DOPS. Many serious injuries occur each year when farm equipment is started from the ground. Don't be a statistic. While you let the engine warm up, take a moment to look around and locate children, other workers, or pets in the area. Place the cotton picker in gear and briefly test your brakes before heading out. 